Hello everyone, I'm Francesco, I'm a research scientist at Spotify and I'm here to present our work called Towards Graph Foundation Models for Personalization. This is a joint effort with a bunch of great colleagues working with me. So let's start. Even if you don't have a formal definition yet of what a foundation model should look like, we can agree that there is, a, a, let's say, a, in literature, a, a models that are capable to perform different downstream tasks after having been trained on such, uh, on, on such a broad spectrum of data. The, the, the question we try to answer today is domain specific. What we want to try to see is how to design a foundation model tailored for personalization. But first, to answer this question, we connect to another popular uh, uh, technology in, in the machine learning literature, which are graph-based graph learning uh, architecture. Those are particularly popular given by the fact that they can map uh, non-Euclidean distances and relationship between items. And, and in, this, in this way, like they can map long-term dependencies between entities of different types. These models are particularly popular in industry since uh, they've been, sh been showing uh, increase in performances in different domain, in different applications, thanks to their inductive power. Now, the question that we try uh, to answer is if we can actually benefit from graph learning technology to design a, a foundation model for personalization. So the question is, can we actually design a graph foundation model tailored for this domain specific setting? The answer is yes, in the sense that we, we make a, a first iteration on this question, designing what a foundation model for personalization should look like. The first static layer is a combination of an heterogeneous graph neural network, which, which uses large language models embeddings as a content uh, um, a base representation. The representation came, coming out from the static layer then used in a dynamic layer, which uses uh, which is our unified model that will be able to, uh, to, to perform different downstream tasks. In this case, recommendations of either audiobooks or podcasts, so different content types. Now, with the offline experiments, we see the benefit of using both the unified model and the GNN. So the right, the two static and, and, and dynamic layer makes a great team and they, they benefit from each other. Uh, and we, we see it through offline evaluation. And finally, we also see that the static foundational layer um, doesn't need much of retraining. So thank you for the attention up to this point, and I'll suggest you to check out the, the paper and see you at the conference.